Good morning. Today's book is called Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. I love this book about color and fun little mice and there's some really cool science and art activities connected to this um, that you can access down below. I chose art today because I wanted to just highlight some of the um, opportunities that Fall River Public Schools is offering to their students through their continual of learning uh, platform on the web and that link is down below and I've sent it to families as well just to remind you to check out the specialists are hard at work um, reminding friends that there's so many activities that you can still take advantage of at home and I hope you enjoy them. Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Once there were three white mice on white paper. The cat couldn't find them. One day, while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint. One red, one yellow, and one blue. Lose my favorite color. They thought it was mouse paint. And they climbed right in, just the right size. Then one was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. They dripped puddles of paint onto the paper. The puddles look like fun. The red mouse stepped into a yellow puddle and did a little dance. His feet stirred the yellow puddle until... He cried, <gasps> red feet in a yellow puddle make orange. The finger on your nose if you knew that one already. The yellow mouse hopped into a blue puddle. His feet mixed and stirred and stirred and mixed until... Look down, said red mouse and the blue mouse. Yellow feet in a blue puddle make green. Then the blue mouse jumped into a red puddle. He splashed and mixed and danced until... <clears throat> I bet you know what he's going to turn into. What's your guess? Purple, they shouted. Blue feet in a red puddle make purple. But the paint on their fur got sticky and stiff. So they washed themselves down in a nice soft, down to a nice soft white in my cat's water dish. If you have a cat like me, me too, and paint and painted the paper instead. They painted one part red and one part yellow. And one part blue. They mixed the red and yellow to paint an orange part. yellow and blue to paint a green part, and blue and red to paint a purple part. But they left some white because of the cat. They didn't want to get found out. I love that book. So sweet about mixing colors and what happens when you put two colors together. Um, I actually went and I found my daughter's kindergarten project that she did with this. Um, the teacher placed yellow, red, and blue, the three colors, um, their primary colors, on a paper plate and then they put it inside a bag and then squished it and you can see when the yellow and blue come together they make a green and when the yellow and red come together they made an orange and then down here a little tough to see but it the red and blue came together and made a purple so I love that idea if you have any of those materials at home that's always fun to do and then I went in to my basement and found another art project um, that I really love and I've been holding on to for a while. Um, my daughter Piper wrote this when she was in second grade and it's a, a census poem about her favorite color. So I thought I'd read it to you and I actually wrote one myself and down below I posted um, a template for you to write a poem about your favorite color. So hers is purple. Purple is the color of my lunchbox. It was the color of her lunchbox. Purple tastes like a fruity plum. Purple smells like a sweet grape slush. Purple feels like a smooth pansy flower petal. Purple sounds like the zipper on my sister's jacket. And her sister had a purple jacket at the time too. And purple looks like my shiny plastic water bottle. Purple makes me happy. Purple is my favorite color. 
I've held on to this for a while. My daughter's in fourth grade now, and she wrote that when she was in second grade. Um, and it inspired me to write a poem. I love how these types of things can inspire you to do different stuff. And the links below hopefully will inspire you to do different um, activities. Check something out that you haven't um, checked out yet. So here is my five senses poem. Um, it's about blue. Like I said, I told you that's my favorite color. All right. Blue is the color of my eyes. Blue tastes like blue raspberry popsicles. Blue smells like hydrangea bushes. Blue feels like a soft blanket. Blue sounds like the ocean. Blue looks like the sky on a summer day. Blue makes me feel calm. Blue is my favorite color. Um, I think either of those activities are super fun, mixing paint, writing a poem. I have lots more linked down below. I hope you take advantage of some of them on this rainy day, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.